Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another illustrious episode of the T and Crystal's podcast. I am T. I'm Crystal. We are so happy to have y'all with us today. Before we get started, Crystal, you already know what I got to ask you. How was your week? My week was, um, I would say, it, I mean, it was good for the most part. We we put in a, uh, one of those little Costco pools. I shouldn't mm. say little. It's actually pretty big. I was about um, to say from the picture you sent me, there ain't no little pool. Yes. Like our 4th of July was so relaxed. It was just me, my mom, my brother, you know, and my Nana, the, my Nana stayed inside. And we, you know, we got up, you know, later in the, in the morning and we hung out in the living room for a little bit, uh, just talked, watched some TV, caught up, all that stuff. And then we all went out into the pool and we just like, I bought a bunch of floats and stuff like that from like Target. Mm. And so we're all just like on floats, just lazing in the river or in the, in the pool, like it's a lazy river. Mm. And it, we, we stayed like that for hours. It was just so chill. Is that and a then, six foot pool? Because that hole was it was tall. It was yeah. It's no. It's forty eight inches. You don't make me do that math. Don't I know. Embarrass me on I know. This podcast. Don't. I, I mean, me I. It's not like. People. It's not like. I mean, I can touch the bottom. Like it comes up to like right okay. here. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. But it was just so relaxing, and then we went inside and we and we threw some steaks in the grill and. Or my mom, my mom threw some steaks in the grill. Me and my brother stayed in the pool a little bit longer, just lounging. Mm-hmm. And then we, we had dinner and, and we went to bed because we were so tired from being out mm-hmm. in the sun for hours. Um, so it was, it was really nice. That um, sounds so nice. Dang. Uh, last Saturday, the Gibsons had a barbecue, a 4th of July barbecue. So, you mm-hmm. know, I was at their house most of the day. Um, I will say, I will say the one thing that irritated me, the one thing that irritated me, I, I need to know what is... If anyone can answer this for me, because, you know, I, I didn't really pay attention in science class. <laughs> so don't ask me. Either, Ms. <laughs> what is the function? What is the hmm. function of a, a mosquito? Like, you know, there are people who don't like bees or are disease. allergic to bees. But, you know, if you got rid of bees, mm-hmm. our whole planet like dies. But right. what about mosquitoes? Like, is there a way to, that we can figure out a way? Like, if we got rid of mosquitoes. Yeah, dog. Yeah. How how much will we be affected? Because let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. I was feeling those little things biting at my ankles. And I thought I, I slapped a few away. I knew I had at least like two on this side. And I think I had like one on this side. And I was mm-hmm. like, man, that's going to irritate me. I know it. I'm going to be waking up in the middle of the night like scratching. So I told my mom, I was like, can we go get um, some like calamine lotion or something that's going to help prevent the itch i was like because i already know it's going to happen she's like yeah so we went and got that i am so glad we did because the next day when i woke up shit was swollen i had at least Mm. at least 10 bites on each ankle but you ain't using no all for nothing on your legs before i did but i just don't feel like it really works Mm. like those mm. things like they they get they get in and start sucking the blood before they can realize that it that this shit is surrounded right. by poison mm. mm-hmm. so yeah um Ooh, that is my ankles are all tore up about the united states my god i don't think we have <laughs> my, mosquitoes over here you're god bless like honestly for real Thank because you. for a good two or three days like mm-hmm. I, the only thing that really worked for me was the benadryl uh, cr- like cream, it's like a little lotion, like the extra strength. Mm-hmm. Um, I would put a little bit on on each bite, and that really helped. But it was like every night for a good, like two three nights, I want to say. Um, I would wake up fire. every like four hours because one of my ankle, one of my feet were rubbing the other ankle, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I would wake up to it, and then I'm mm-hmm. like, God damn it. <laughs> And so I'd get the lotion, I'd put it all on, and then it would it would calm it down. Mm-hmm. And then I'd go back to sleep, and like four f- hours later, I'm waking up to myself you doing know what, this. You know what? When I was younger, you know, we was playing outside. I grew up in the country. We back played outside day. every day. Okay. You know what? <laughs> I have literally left that behind. Uh, but I used to, we used to play, you know, we played outside every single day. In shorts and stuff in the summertime till late at night getting bit up by mosquitoes and stuff. And my aunt had some prescription 
Like it came, it, it came in this, a, a pretty good sized jar that mm-hmm. she had, I swear, for like 10 years. I know that shit expired. But she <laughs> would give it to us and you would put it on a mosquito bite. Like mm-hmm. if you didn't realize you got one, the next day it started itching. You would put just a little dollar on the mosquito bite, gone within an hour. Mm-hmm. Like f- flat to the skin, like it never happened. I don't know what the hell that ointment was, but they need to put that on the market. Like I need to, you need to find out. It's, what that it was, was um I don't know, Crystal. Any itch, any bump I ever had, I just put it on there and it was gone in an hour. Well, audiences, if you got someone in your life, mm-hmm. a Mima or a grandma or a Nana or someone, a Nona, who got that Miracle Cream, please let Listen. us know, please. <laughs> well, why I called it the Miracle Cream? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like her. Oh, well, I ain't mean to say her name. But <laughs> I used to be like, on so-and-so, you got, you got that uh, Miracle Cream. And All she right. showed you, she would pull it right out her her uh, nightstand. And I would just give me a little tip on my finger, and it would be gone within an hour. Yeah, because that Benadryl stuff was okay. Um, mm-hmm. It it helped to really lessen the itch, but it didn't really take it away. It was enough so that I mm-hmm. didn't, I I didn't itch myself. I was able to control myself. But mm-hmm. at night when I'm sleeping, I don't know. I don't have that control. So let me tell you something. You remember back in the day when people used to like if you had a mosquito bite, you used to take your nail. And yeah, a little cross on it, and I still do that, and that that don't work. It don't, but it, I it would, would feel so digging, good. It would. Feel I would be so digging good. into those bites, like I'm yes. like, mm-hmm. and I've got nails, so it's like, mm-hmm. it it's like so it relieves good. it. It relieves it very, very temporarily, yeah. like because it, it, you feel a little bit of pain, but then as soon as I take it away, it's like it slowly starts to come back, and I'm like, it was almost so, yeah. better to scratch that bitch raw. Because Honestly. then I at least I can put a band aid on it and keep it pushing. Because this it just shit is full of birds. Like absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. But yeah, other than that, my weekend was good. How was yours? Did you did you, I mean I did you guys even technically celebrate anything for the Fourth of July? Because I mean, absolutely not. I was about um, to say y'all know it was I, just another day for y'all. D- Crystal, I didn't even realize it was the Fourth of July. Until my father called me and he was like, oh, what y'all doing for the 4th? And I was like, the 4th? And I was like, oh, shit, it's the 4th of July. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> the only reason, you know, I think the past two years, I think I was, I know I was there last year mm-hmm. for the 4th yeah. of July. Yeah, because we, I went to your house. Yeah, yeah, you came mm-hmm. over the house. And we did like fireworks Yeah. And yeah, and then we, I think it was last year too, we had a big ass 4th of July party at my grandparents' mm-hmm. house. I think yeah. either the day before, the day after, something like that. Um. So yeah, didn't this year I I didn't observe. Um, I think when I was here years and years ago, I made something for, you know, 4th of July just to teach them what it was and stuff but but we ain't do shit the only thing i actually did is my father and i talked shit about america for about an hour i was about phone. to say honestly i think like half the population or most of the population was not feeling the fourth of july mm-hmm. this year mm-hmm. um so you know because people see Anyways. the writing on the walls like maybe yeah. things are okay right now but we know that this shit is coming to an end soon well we just and you know if we it had don't just go also- our way like it's gonna be. Well, we, it's gonna be bad. We had just learned the SCOTUS ruling for uh, yeah quite a few big high profile things. cases. Yeah, high profile cases. Yeah. And like I said, for the gays out of here. Good women, a good portion out of here. <laughs> Blacks out of here. <laughs> like they, <laughs> they are three for three. Like yeah, a good they, portion of of the population probably wasn't feeling it. They are ninety percent uh, from the three point mm-hmm. line. Okay, they are tearing our asses up. Right. But anyways, I'm really excited for today's episode. Yes, ma'am. We're doing our very popular Am I the Asshole or Reddit. I shouldn't just say because it's not always, yeah, Am Mm -hmm. I the Asshole. It's Reddit rabbit holes. Mm -hmm. I'm really, really excited to share 
my stories. I'm I actually told to Timmy, we're, we're trying to, we're going to try and get all of our stories in because uh, mm-hmm. we've been doing mostly two. We've been doing one for him and one for me, but I have two stories. Cause I gave him a choice. Mm-hmm. I told him he could, I could either make him mad or I could make him laugh. Uh, and he's choosing both. So <laughs> listen, we're gonna the, dichotomy, try and get the dichotomy of it all. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes yeah. it's, it's good to flush those emotions out of your system. You know, you get exactly. a good night's sleep after that. Just get it all out. <laughs> You know, so we're gonna get started with that. When yes. we're gonna start with, we're gonna start story. with my story. Are you ready for this, Kristen? I am. I'm ready for it. Okay, this is entitled "Am I the asshole for putting my feet on the seat in the car and suggesting my brother-in-law walk if he had a problem?" And you probably know why I picked this one because I have a thing about I know. feet. Yeah. Um. So the story goes a little something like this. I was wearing high heels all day, so my feet were killing me by the time we were driving home. So I took my shoes off and sat cross-legged on the seat. My feet weren't touching anybody, and my brother-in-law was sitting next to me and turned it into a big deal because apparently my feet are so gross to him. He told me to put my feet down and put my shoes on. I refused, so he claimed my feet stunk, which was a blatant lie. Uh, <laughs> he had he had eventually backed down on me putting my shoes on, but he still wanted me uh, to take my feet off of the seat. Nobody else had an issue about how. Oh, excuse me, that was my that was my phone vibrating uh, <laughs> about how I was sitting, and it wasn't my brother-in-law's car, so I got annoyed and told him to walk if he had a problem since I feel like he was trying to embarrass me at that point. I think he got angry because I told him to walk because he started arguing with me even more and getting louder and louder about it too. I got to the point where my husband and mother-in-law both had to tell him to shut up. Am I the asshole? Before you answer, this is this is, this is is a a broadcast from me to the op posters thank you christopher teach me that lingo on reddit don't get on here with these run on sentences it is hard to edit what the hell you say as we read it even if i pre-read it it is hard there are commas and there are semicolons There are also colons and or periods for a reason. Please use punctuation when you write these stories. Also, grammar. I know it be whooping y'all ass. There, there, and there. Y'all have never gotten it right. Okay. There's apostrophes on some words. You know, when you say uh, the Joneses. It could be the Joneses S apostrophe S or just S apostrophe. It's fun. We can make it fun. All I'm saying is get the old school hooked on phonics. Start over. Start over from the beginning. Get your phonics hooked and then come back and write this goddamn story. I'm sorry, Crystal. This one pissed me off for real because (laughs) because. I I'm with you. Can't I can't with the punctuation, especially stuff. especially because a lot of the stories that I read, they're stories that I read a while ago, and I've saved them, so I mm-hmm. already know they're going to be good. Yeah, and it isn't until I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, let's get started, and let's read it, and I'm reading it, and I'm like, damn, like I should have pre-read this. <laughs> like I, I forgot almost, how bad this honestly, was. Honestly, I might have to take these stories. And run them through chat GPT and ask chat GPT to input uh, punctuation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like what, I'm with I'm what? with that. I might do that from yeah. now on, honestly, because honestly. it is so hard to edit on the fly. Cause we can't just we can't just read something smoothly. Like we're sitting there sounding like we're a stut- We can't read. <laughs> exactly. Because you hit I what's swear supposed I can read y'all. The comma. I, y'all, I swear for God I can read. I swear for God. <laughs> but you hit a point where, where there's supposed to be a comma there, and you're it's you know, I don't know. I'm with you. I feel y'all like, y'all feel hear like. it. Y'all hear it, and y'all can hear where there's supposed to be punctuation. 
I feel your pain. Yes. So, so absolutely. is is this young lady who will not take her funk ass feet you off know what? the seat? The I'm her. I'm probably gonna take. I'm gonna say that everyone sucks here. <laughs> hey, and there it is. <laughs> I don't, I don't think, you know, cause at the end of the day, this sounds like this is her husband's car. So I eat, this is also probably her car. Now mm-hmm. I understand, girl, I understand. I understand the pain of wearing heels and your feet killing you. I, mm-hmm. I get that. However, mm-hmm. however, once you get into the car and you're sitting down, unless your heels are too tight, you know, just having them on is it's going to be a relief. Like you don't have to take them off if it bothers Mm. someone. Mm. Um, and also I absolutely do not believe 100% that, uh, your feet did not stink after wearing these heels for as long as you did like girl, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. They probably did. I mean, like, the way you would stop it's, around that office, like mm, I understand that you know you ooh. didn't like being called out by your brother in law, so but it mm-hmm. definitely didn't smell like daisies or roses. I promise. Let me tell you something. Um, because I know them dogs. When they say them dogs was barking, them dogs was <laughs> snarling. They had rabies at that point. <laughs> them dogs was killers. Right. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is her, her and her husband's vehicle, and mm-hmm. so you know if she, that's what. If that's what she was doing and 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 she wasn't touching you or anything like that, mm-hmm. you know, I think her brother in law should have just gotten over it, maybe turned mm-hmm. himself facing towards the window and just ignored her mm-hmm. instead of feeling the need to argue with her. Like right. I'm right. assuming y'all considering you're saying that this is your brother in law and you're married, that y'all are adults. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't I'm just gonna say everyone sucks in this situation. Now, I have experience in this area, which is kind of why this story called to me. Uh, My wife is a, you know, if we're on an extended drive, um, more than probably 30 minutes, she finna kick them shoes off and she finna sit cross-legged in the front seat. I don't ever mind it. In the many times that we have been in the car or anything with family or something, I don't think she's ever kicked them shoes off. Mm-hmm. Just out of like, just off GP, out of respect. And you know, we actually went somewhere recently when my mother came to visit. We was like an hour and pretty much an hour and a half to go to Legoland. And I don't think she kicked them shoes off the whole time. My mother in the back seat. You know, just just out of, I don't even know, it just a courtesy. It ain't got to be respect. Just out of courtesy. Now, it sounded to me like you was going from work to your house my question is why is everybody in the car it sounds like it's a little bit too much you and them to me why is your brother-in-law in the car how old are y'all why is the mom in law why she ain't got her own whip like what's what's what, you know what i'm saying what's it's a little yeah. bit too too much mixing going yeah. on here and the brother-in-law yeah. is too motherfucking comfortable for him to be speaking to you like that yeah that's for number sure. one that's number one because mm-hmm. i mean if your feet is funky then i can see it Mm-hmm. But you say your feet ain't stink, but how you know your feet ain't stink, bitch? You been smelling them hoes all day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like some people, I yeah. feel like genuinely don't realize that they have a little funk to them because mm-hmm. they didn't got used to it. So you yeah. know, when I be smelling funky people out in public, because they be out there, I don't necessarily yeah. blame them all the time unless it's like egregious. But I don't mm-hmm. blame them all the time because I'm like, all right, maybe you, you, you know, maybe your house smell like that, you know, because sometimes, you know, when you leave your house, sometimes like after you cook something per mm-hmm. se, like the, the, the other day I had made some chicken wings. Right. I always air the house out when I mm-hmm. cook, no matter what I use the fan, but I also like to air the house out because I don't want that shit sitting on my furniture. Mm-hmm. But I had went down to do some laundry, came back up. The windows was open, but I I still smelled my chicken wings. So I was, you know, but I didn't smell them when I was up here. So that just goes further to the point. Sometimes you'll you'll sit in something, you'll be used to it, and you won't smell it where other people will. So, homegirl, for you to say that your feet don't stain, it probably ain't true. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I, yeah. I'm definitely gonna stick with my everyone sucks here because yeah. on the one hand, because I'm the same way. Like if I'm if I'm with, you know. 
if I'm on a road trip with my family or something like that, yeah, you know, I'll probably kick my shoes off or something like that. Or if I just have like flip flops on or something like that, I'll Mm -hmm. slide my feet out. But if there's people that, if there's other people on the car, like for her, it would be her husband. Like if you're with your husband, yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you're with extended family, probably, probably wouldn't. Like I said, you're, you're already off your feet. Like, um, that's probably giving you enough and you could probably have even just rested your feet just right outside your shoe you know Mm -hmm. like you know not taking it completely off that's the move Mm -hmm. but not having it completely in um Mm -hmm. but again like your brother-in-law he didn't need to call you out like that either so everyone sucks here let let me poll the audience real quick because my wife is in here and i want to ask her because we went on a trip a couple years ago to disneyland and y'all know we drove and y'all know how long that damn drive is. And I am pretty sure, because, you know, she sit where, where I sit usually. If I'm driving, she's sitting up front with me. If I'm in the back, she's sitting in the back with me. And I'm pretty I'm pretty positive that she took her shoes off during that drive and sat the same way that this lady was saying, cross-legging or whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, you know, the relationship is different between her and my family than this lady and and. You know, this family, you know, but in some cases, I feel, feel like it's oh, I as somebody who don't fuck with feet at all, I don't mind if that's the nature of the relationship, somebody kicking their shoes off. You know, mm-hmm. don't get in my in my car as a friend and kick your shoes off because, bitch, we're about to pull over. Right. <laughs> and, and, and you're about to get stomping down the sideway. <laughs> Don't ever, you know what I'm saying? But yes, well, th- this person was found to be the asshole in the situation. They did say she was the asshole, so so we was we was we was on the on the same page as the consensus on Reddit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. What you got All for right. me, Crystal? I'm ready. Okay. I'm sorry in advance. My dogs are just like you know what? That's that's right that now. girl feet. That girl feet is so funky <laughs> that the smell is horrible. Like, they will not. They're so reactive to whatever comes across our window. And like, mm-hmm. this is, you know, because the audience don't know this, but, you know, we're, we're recording in the middle of the week. This is like why I like to mm-hmm. record at the end of the week on yeah. like a weekend, because then my mom, she goes to like her cottage for the weekend and she takes the dogs with them. So it's silent in the house. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't always work out for us, so. Right, right. Because I'm leaving no, this I've, weekend. I ain't even get to tell you. Yeah. We're going to be gone this weekend. We're going to another city this mm, weekend. Okay, yeah. You're going to have to tell me about that. Mm-hmm. Um. So, yeah. So, I'm sorry in advance if y'all hear the dogs in the background. All right. So, this this is, we're, we're going to, tr- we want to end on a happy note. So, we're yeah. going to start with the one that I believe is going to make him angry. <laughs> <laughs> so, this oh, is. This one says, would I be the asshole for not bringing my daughter to Disney? I'm going to let that sit with you for a second. <sighs> Crystal, <laughs> they, okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. All right. <laughs> because. <sighs> just And just wait. Just wait. Mm, mm, okay. So this says, I, 30 film, 35 male. Am married to my wonderful wife, 36 female, and have two kids, Jesse, 16 female, and Carl, 6 male. Just to warn you, before you get into this story, I might put myself on mute just to keep from commenting because there's going to be a lot of huffing and puffing, and I don't want to be (laughs) huffing and puffing through your whole story. So if you don't hear me, it's because I muted myself because I'm pissed off already because I didn't. We'll get there. Okay. Please continue. Okay. Okay. Jesse is my stepdaughter, but I still love her like my own. I, you know, every time someone says that, I don't believe them. <sighs> Anyways. <clears throat> However, she can be a massive handful. She recently got, di- got diagnosed with, with all creative colitis. October of 2022 and has been sick since May of last year. And because of that has been lazy, rude, and doesn't go out. Me and my wife plan to go on a Disney trip for a week, but because of Jesse's condition, she's in the bathroom five to 20 times a day and can barely eat and just, and is just really upset with everything and everyone. When she heard about the trip, 
through my bedroom door. She was excited, of course, since it's Disney. But then I told her she would be staying with her grandma in California the days we went because she would be too tired and unable to enjoy the park. But instead, could go to the beach or something with her grandparents. She ran to her room screaming about favoritism. I'm not playing favorites. She's been hospitalized eight times this year alone and can't control her condition. She does horseback riding and claims she's fit enough and can just try to avoid the bathrooms. But last time she tried that at school, she literally had an accident and I had to bring her clothes. She can barely walk without being lightheaded. And she said she could use a wheelchair like when she sprained her ankle, but they would have to... But they would... But then we would have to explain why she needs it to staff and people in line, which I don't want to do all day. She also literally can only eat a few things, and Disney is known for being very bad for you. We could do something else, but it's my son's birthday and when we were but it's my son's birthday when we were going, and all he wants to do is a family trip, a family Disney trip. I swear I can read y'all. <sighs> My wife says she I concur. thought Jesse. She can read, y'all. She is a very good reader, proficient, you know, college level academic reader. <laughs> However, I'm telling y'all, the people that write these stories are not so. And I pre- I this is one of the ones I did pre read. Yeah. Yeah. My wife says she thought Jesse was coming, but my mom and grandma, who she would be with, claim I'm right because she can't walk all day and they want to spend time with her. Would I be the be asshole for refusing to let her come? Can I comment? Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Before I go into what I'm about to say, <laughs> if there's anybody who has a respectable opinion of me in the way in which I carry myself or speak go ahead and turn this off now if you want to preserve that image of me that was your chance let me tell you something <laughs> let me tell you something because this shit pissed me off at every turn I honestly think this ain't a real story because ain't no way on earth that you are so Unaware of the of the, sh- oh, I have to breathe and I have to gather my thoughts. If you are that ignorant to where you will use this girl's illness to justify the fact that you don't want to take her on this damn trip. I don't know who I'm more mad at, honestly. I know who I'm more mad at. It's it's the dad. But I'm very upset with the biological mother of this girl. Because how dare you? How? I know people who have this, this uh, illness. That shit is real. No pun intended. Whoa, I took myself out with that one. <laughs> that shit is real. It's no joke. You will be hospital. You can die from it because you literally, yo, like your insides are turning on you. You are losing all the nutrients that your body gets. You can't really hold food. Like it's a terrible thing to deal with. Anybody who's ever had a sour stomach for a day or two. No, anybody who's ever had food poison know how miserable it is. Imagine having that every day of your damn life, depending on the severity of it, because you know sometimes it, you know, you have flare ups and whatever, whatever. And then for you to paint it as it, for you to say. What did he say? Something about, you know, something, something about a condition she can't control or something like that. Mm-hmm. But at, but using it as like a demerit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she can't control. 
her shitting her brains out so she doesn't deserve to go on this vacation because I don't feel right. like explaining to people in the park that she has a wheelchair. Motherfucker, do you know how many people are in wheelchairs in Disney every day? They have right. seen everything. They literally have Make-A-Wish kids on the daily at Disney. Mm-hmm. It is a thing for them. They accommodate I, everyone. I would think having a wheelchair would actually be a benefit because I know yes. like when we've gone to anywhere with and we've had someone with a wheelchair, like as if they can still if the wheelchair isn't preventing them from being able to ride, like mm. it's like a line skipper for it us. It is. <laughs> like at least you're on one to friend. The fr- you go straight to the front of the line. If anything, she's an asset to y'all. As long as she don't, right. you know, lose it when I first, right. you know. <laughs> if the bottom don't we- fall out on that first, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> y'all. I'm we sorry. I really are- feel for this. Guy. <laughs> we going to hell. We're going to hell. <laughs> We're not, oh man, you just made half our audience piss. We're not making fun of this. I, Because we know it's a real thing. Y'all see how mad I'm laughing to keep from crying, okay? Because this shit really pisses me off. And, 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 and it's the fact that it's a child who is helpless in this situation mm-hmm. and more in more than one way. And, well, and, and, and then you for the frame it to be like, you know, my son wants a family Da, 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 da. And then for you not to accommodate a core member of the family. See, this is right. why sometimes I don't believe in joining families. <clears throat> I don't sometimes, you know, it, 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 that should be a little too it, because there's going to be a bias unless you have kids prior and I have kids prior. But if I got a kid prior and then we have kids together. I feel like there's always going to be a bias against my child and I'm always going to be trying to overcompensate, which may end up making the other kids feel alienated. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, every time someone says, Mm. oh, you know, they make that thing where they're like, you know, they're so-and-so's child, but I love them like they're my own. And then Mm -hmm. you're going into explain, like you use that as an opener to something that you're... I don't believe you. Uh-uh. Like uh-uh. I think you're. I think you're trying to save face before you mm-hmm. got into the bad parts. Right. Yeah, because I didn't mean to cut you off. But no, you um, he 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 did answer a bunch of people in comments. I'm not going to go over all of them, but to sum mm-hmm. it up, mm-hmm. he said things that like her friends are no longer talking to her since she's got sick. Um, he said that oh even if she wasn't God. sick. He probably wouldn't take her anyways because she had been lashing out recently and upset. Although he says for no good reason, um, and Can being a- unnecessarily you, aggressive and rude to him and his mom, to him and her mom. And that's um, something I actually wanted to comment on because, but b- before I forget, not to cut you off, but before I forget right. because I forgot before I wanted to comment on it. Mm-hmm. Anybody who's ever had any stomach problems. In their life, me being one of them, your attitude is on 10,000 because you feel bad all the time. You are irritable because your bowels are irritated. Mm -hmm. You feel bad all the time. This girl ain't lashing out just, just because she feel like it. This girl is going through something. And you know what? To be honest, let me, let me, let this have been your kid, Crystal, and you was dealing with somebody that was treating your kid like this, I would be in your ear every chance I get telling you to leave that motherfucker. You wouldn't even have I to wouldn't, be in my ear. Listen, I wouldn't care. what If y'all got to come stay with me. I would be fighting for my me. kid. I let would be fighting you, for my I, kid to go. I don't understand. Now, listen. This ain't, I'm not even going to make it gender specific. I don't understand people who get into new relationships with previous children and have new kids with said new, to the person in that new relationship and then emotionally neglect their children from, from previous relationships. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. 
Yeah, here's a few here's a few of his comments he said in response mm-hmm. to people. She's been on meds since January but hardly hardly been better been better. She's got she just got more depressed, lost weight, which is good because she was overweight and just turned into All a right. monster to and be you honest. Know what? Honestly, I don't need to every no every one of his comments need- is very obvious that he just don't like this Mm-mm. girl. Mm-mm. He said the Mm-mm. only cure is surgery, but she's against it. She can only be less sick or slightly normal. Mm-mm. She's been lashing out recently and refusing to watch her little brother, getting mad over him taking her stuff, etc. No. So I think she would just spoil the trip and be rude to him while on vacation. For her birthday, she wanted to go to no. university studios, but she couldn't get her IV medicine before the trip. So instead, she settled on a spa day with her cousin, which was better since it was cheaper and less stress since she could stay in her hotel room when things got bad. She kept saying it's unfair because she also wanted to go to a theme park, but she can't, at least not comfortably. Um, yeah, like I said, this goes on. He has so many comments trying to defend himself and it's literally like, it just, it's against him. He was obviously, obviously labeled an asshole, mm-hmm. um, which is the correct label because he's yeah. punishing her for a chronic illness. Like Timmy was saying, for- if you've ever mm-hmm. been sick, mm-hmm. if you've ever been sick for a few days or a week, mm-hmm. If you had COVID and it was bad, you were miserable Miserable. and you were irritated and you Mm. were probably rude and you were probably aggressive and all these other things Mm. and you, you know, life was depressing for you. Imagine having to feel like that indefinitely. This is a chronic illness. This isn't something that just gets to go away, that there's an end point. At least when you get sick, when you get Mm. a cold or you get a flu or something like that, there's usually an end date. Okay, in a week, in two weeks, I should be feeling better. She doesn't get that. And so she's she's 16 and she's having to learn how to live with this. How to cope. Now. And she's Mm. not, and right now she's not doing well. And apparently she did try to go to therapy, but he took her out of therapy. She was on a Reddit group for people with this condition but he felt because most of the posts were telling her how it doesn't really get better and blah blah blah, and that's negative he took her out of that he sold her dog and her hamster because she couldn't take care of it because she was sick okay crystal i need you <laughs> i need you to cut it, it. just goes on and on because like i said the you, you somebody need to report they asked to CPS at this Someone point said that in the because comments. Because you're taking away all of her support yes. system. Any, you are isolating this girl to the point where you are setting. Yeah. This is foreshadowing for a story that we're going to talk about later. Yeah. The documentary. Yeah. You oh, are yeah, setting yeah. this girl up for the right conditions for her to commit suicide. I must say Yeah. It. Yeah. You are you Honestly. are manipulating her to get her up off this earth so you don't have to deal with her no more. Yeah. Crystal, I this agree is the type of shit. This is the type of shit. You know how I am. I know. When I feel like people are being bullied, taken advantage of, fucked over, different stuff like that, who are literally innocent or in a vulnerable position, mm-hmm. I will lose everything that I have. You've you right. you witnessed I didn't put shit on the line mm-hmm. just to defend people like that because i i can't you yeah you knew this was gonna piss me off i i, I crystal I like i know i can't even express in words how i feel because it is such a i can't relate to that way of thinking in any to the lack of empathy, shape or form. No, I'm how with you. not only do you not empathize with this girl, but you take her circumstance and you turn it against her to yeah. make her a villain to yeah. justify the shit that you're doing to her. Mm-hmm. And the only end goal that I can see is that you want this girl out of the picture. Honestly, yes. you want your Agreed. family with that with with her mom and y'all son. And you. And that's it. And you want yeah. her out the fucking way. Yeah. And I the agree. only way that you can get there is to create the worst conditions possible for this girl. Alienate yeah. her from her own mother. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. Like I said, there's he's he's responded so many times. So if anybody wants to check it out, it is called Would I Be the Asshole for Not Bringing My Daughter to Disney? He obviously says asshole right next to it. So you're free to go on Reddit, check it out and read some of his comments if you want to see more about it. Now and that we've got everyone catch him in the street, whoop his ass for me. Cuz I <laughs> Now that we've America. gotten everybody properly upset. Let's make you guys happy. I'm so this, excited. You have to do some digging and get me up out of this shit because they done pissed me off. Over I know. Crystal. I know. Woo. And I'm. that's why I'm really excited to show this with you. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. ready. And, and for everyone, this is the first time we're going to be adding some like Ooh. elements. Little, a little elements. We, mm-hmm. we just started figuring this stuff out, and I'm really excited because now yeah. that we started to figure this stuff out, future episodes, we're definitely going to have um, some like real reaction videos where we can like oh, download yeah. videos and really react to them, and mm-hmm. you can, guys can see it with us real, in real time. Yeah. Um, so this story, this might be a not suitable for work type story. So not anyone who's, NSFW? you know. What? Oh, maybe. A little bit. So, you know, our younger people, if you have your children watching or listening, maybe maybe not First this one. First of all, get them kids. If you ain't hear what the hell I just said in that last segment, get them kids the fuck <laughs> about their room. I'll be cussing. But, okay, so I'm going to read this story, and then I'm going to play the sound boy. And I'm going to try so hard to get through this because it makes me cry every time I read this. <laughs> I was okay. I was in right. bed last night thinking about telling you guys a story and and like playing the sound bite to you and Boy, I, I literally ready. had tears. In my I eyes. am so ready. So this mm. is uh today I fucked up. Oh, oh oh my god! Here she go, y'all. She, <laughs> <laughs> she loves okay. And this was a really popular one. So if mm. you are part of Reddit, you've probably heard this one and mm. know. Um, also, after I read the story, I'm going to read some of the comments because they're amazing. They're amazing. Okay. Okay. So today I fucked up. My 20 female girlfriend of two years told me the music that I, 25 male, play during sex is weird and a major turnoff. Oh, 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 okay. No, okay. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to have to comment while you go because I'm going to forget. I won't do it too much, but number one, how old did he say he was? He is 25 male. He's 25. Sir, you too old. You too old to be playing them them playlist games. If y'all don't get in there and get what needs to be done, like. (laughs) Just, just wait. Okay. 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 A little backstory. When I first started having sex, I researched the ways to be better as I was a little stiff and pretty much had no idea what I was doing. I read online that you can play. (laughs) Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's the stiff. I was a little stiff. Not, not, not you giving corpse. Oh my God. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry. (laughs) I I read online Uh that you can play music and match the rhythm in order to put on a better performance. I searched love making songs and started slowly creating a playlist in which I was comfortable matching the rhythm. Mm -hmm. There are a few songs to my playlist. However, there is one song in particular. (laughs) I'm about to take this sweater off because I'm mad. Yo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just. just Picture in my head. You're going to have to mute yourself because I have to get through this. I have to get through this. I'll mute myself.
There are a few songs to my playlist. However, there is one song in particular, which actually happens to be my favorite, (laughs) that my girlfriend hates and says turns her off in a major way. I don't understand why it has taken her two years to tell me she hates that song. It's a good lovemaking song with good rhythm. I feel the way I fucked up is I could have possibly asked her previously if she likes the playlist or any song she'd like to add slash change. But to leave it for two years thinking our sex life is great, but in her eyes has just been ruined by my music, has left the whole, has left the whole situation feeling awkward and I'm a bit annoyed. I pretty much played this tune every single time. So the amount of time she must have not been enjoying it when I thought the complete opposite is annoying but also embarrassing in ways. Not to mention my previous partners. However, they never complained about the song, so maybe it's just her. It's fucked up the relationship, to be honest, because sex feels awkward now. The other day, we were having sex with no music... (laughs) But I was still thrusting to the tune playing in my head. No, sir. No, sir. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Hold on. She recognized this and asked me to stop. (laughs) I thought this song was perfect. And I always get, I always thrust along with the tune and feel it gives me the perfect rhythm for doing the deed to. Hold on. I'm almost done. I usually... I usually bust to this song and <laughs> find it <laughs> and find it de- devastating. She hates the song. Now, for our audience, I'm going to play you this song. Oh my god, yo. So please. I want you to I want you to remember all of what I just said about how he Sir. how he thrusts to this song. Not only how, how he thrust, how he busts to this song. <laughs> like, this is his favorite song. To hump to, to hunch to. And and his girlfriend has been enduring this for two years. So this is by Hudson Mohawk. It's Seabat. Is- okay. And who? Seabat? Just. just Listen. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck is that? The very first comment on the YouTube page is a moment of silence for that poor woman suffering two years of this. 
<laughs> Crystal, I can't. <laughs> 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 I told you every time I think oh about it and gosh. I hear that tune you are never going to forget this tune you will never forget this tune uh, if you know someone what? ever it's in my head randomly right now. <laughs> please don't go have sex with Nina later Hell it's no. going to ruin it it's going to ruin it absolutely not no if anything was happening it's going to be like yeah. <laughs> that is Nina's, Nina's gonna be like something's different honey <laughs> If y'all ever needed to find the opposite of Viagra, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there. Oh my God, y'all. You imagine the girl recognizing <sighs> this rhythm? It was she the. She recognized. It's that note that was like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> 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 because it sound, it starts off it starts oh. off not terrible it starts off like, okay know. this is weird yo i did not know i thought it was going to be like something really fast but that shit there yo oh i don't know if, i don't know if it gets faster i still haven't listened to no, the whole thing crystal <laughs> it's like a 3 oh. minute song that is a i guess I he doesn't land. last that long in a long, you said it was what? <laughs> it's like a three minute song. I guess it doesn't. Oh, last I thought you long. said thirty second. I was like, no. God damn! <laughs> it's two minutes and fifty two seconds. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> but that shit took me out. I have not laughed that hard in a long <laughs> time, Crystal. Let me let me just read some of these comments on YouTube because <sighs> obviously, people the people who have gone to you to to listen to this track is because of this story because he linked it um, here are just some of the top comments amazing how certain songs just get thrust into your life eh <laughs> <laughs> this will be Hudson if, if, if Mohawk's song, legacy if that song is any indication of what he was doing in the bedroom I don't think thrust is the right word to use to describe what the fuck he was doing it, it was like rubbing two planks of wood together. That's not <laughs> just just Mm-mm. wait for some of these comments. This will be Hudson Mocott's legacy. A woman suffering for two years where her boyfriend thrusts his hips to his, his this tune will be his, his legacy. Without a shadow of a doubt, my favorite thing about this whole story was the collective experience of clicking the link of the to the song and thinking Boy. this isn't that bad. And then followed by the absolute five hundred forty degrees twist. It takes twenty seconds in. It's mm-hmm. absolutely perfect crystal the first that is the exact experience i had <laughs> the first 20 second intro isn't even bad and feels like it might be leading into something good and then it hits you like a freight train <laughs> there's no way there's no way bro was tearing the cheeks up to two seagulls having an argument <laughs> oh. Oh. keep in mind seagulls. oh my god keep in mind this is the song he decided to share with us this is his most favorite track. Because this. what the f- else is on that? Pl- first of all, first of all, ma'am, ma'am, get from under him. Get from under him. Because he, he he is literally playing on your time. He is playing in your coochie and you deserve better. Because ain't uh, no way. Ain't no way in hell. You finna turn that shit on even one time. And we fit it flash it. Flash it. I'm surprised the coochie ain't dry as a bone. How can you hear that? <laughs> like, ain't no yep. fucking way. I was at a family reunion and began humming this shit in the kitchen <clears throat> for no reason. My mom started laughing. She knows. <laughs> there wasn't enough tears in the ocean to portray mom? the sadness of that woman's pained endurance. <laughs> This one, I'm just like, I know that coochie got to be dry as the Sahara Desert. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell she is enjoying that. <clears throat> you talking about we, and you gonna turn this on? <clears throat> first of all, if you turn it on the same playlist every time, now it's starting to feel like a chore. You know what I'm saying? Now I feel like I'm clocking into work every day because I'm hearing the same shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga say he. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Crystal, he said he nut to that song. Mm-hmm. You're you are a sick individual. You are a sick <laughs> individual, sir. You need clinical help. There is the no money. way on earth that that song should do anything for you. The money I'd pay to listen to the rest of that man's playlist. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you something, because if they put it on Apple Music, I might just bump it. <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might just turn that hoe on. Because I'm curious now. I'm curious. Can you imagine? Have you? No, that's too obscure of a reference. Ooh, this is a, you know what I imagine that he does on top of that lady while that song plays? You ever seen the episode? Of Seinfeld, <laughs> where uh, Elaine is dancing. Mm-mm. Oh my God, Kristen! Oh, I wish I could share it with you. <clears throat> but y'all out there that's listening, y'all know it's 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 a famous meme now where Elaine be dancing. That's what I feel he be doing in the coochie. I was about to say, I feel like I seen the meme at least. I just imagine if you know that meme, then you know exactly what he was doing in the coochie. I just can't imagine. Like, <laughs> I will admit, I will admit one point to him. Mm-hmm. I don't understand how she went two years without telling him that she didn't like this, That's and how she what, endured um, this for two years. I understand his point in that aspect. Uh, you know but what? Everything else. I can tell you how. I can tell you how. Either she is getting her walls tore down by somebody on the side. <laughs> But she loved him enough to stay with him, or she can't get nobody to tear her walls down on the side, and so she's sticking with him. That's 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 the only two options because ain't no fucking way somebody turning that on, and you're like, oh yeah, let's get it going. <laughs> and you know what? I'm you know what? Judging by this letter, that playlist is one song long. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, to he did he did post an update Please. um to it. It's not it's not that great like mm. compared to what we just listened to, but um he said, "Okay, this exploded more than I expected. It has been a bit overwhelming with the messages, but thought I'd give an update. The attention hasn't exactly been positive, and this hasn't been the best thing to happen to me for my relationship, and it's now sadly <sighs> ended. I didn't expect it to blow like what did I didn't you think expect this was it to going? blow up so much. Well, and this is why too. He said I should have used an anonymous name instead of my real name and our real ages. There aren't many twenty-five-year-old Tyler's lives who are in a relationship with their <clears> significant <throat> other for two years. Who is twenty? And you know what? She dodged Unf- a damn bullet. Unfortunately, her younger sister recognized this and showed her parents, who wasn't happy at all and made the situation extremely awkward. What well, made I mean, it more they awkward? They was in their 20s, weren't they? <laughs> yes. Yeah, they what girl, made it more them. awkward? What made it more awkward and cemented the fact that the, it, that it was me is that they recognized the song. Once at a family dinner, we were discussing music tastes, and my ex girlfriend stated that I have an odd taste in music. Everyone laughed and pressed me to play something from my phone of what I like, so as music to which I then blessed their ears with Seabeth. Her father laughed and said it was terrible. I guess we all have different tastes. Although I nodded in agreement at the time, I was thinking in my head that this is a great fucking song. And you know what? You are a sick <laughs> motherfucker because why would you play your nut song? That's what I'm going to call it. Why would you play your nut song for the family As at the, the dinner table? Right. <clears throat> See, now she does the bullet. You a little, you a he little. He says... He says, we are over now and I'm moving on. I've already revealed my face on TikTok, but with the amount of hate I originally got, I decided to say I didn't have it and backtrack. I don't think the song is that bad, and I had no idea she didn't like it until recently, and as soon as I did, I stopped. I didn't force her to see bat Not all can handle see bat I know it's different. I know a lot of asked saying? for a C-Bat? face reveal and playlist. That's the name of the song. See bat Yes. And he's making it like a word, like a thing. Oh, so I didn't God. force her to see that. Not all I can handle to see that. My playlist, I actually burned onto a CD and have been using my CD player. But I'll go on YouTube and try to link oh. all the songs in one playlist and share. I bur- How do you even burn a CD nowadays? <laughs> what computer has a CD drive? I don't know. I don't know. But I will say. I, I succeeded. I told you this was going to make you 
make you very happy. Let me tell you something because my lungs have not recovered yet. <laughs> I am over here dying. Literally. I told you we were we were gonna end on a positive note. Crystal, that I swear for God, that is the hardest I have laughed. I think in literal years. Uh, that yes. shit was funny. Like, are you kidding me? <clears throat> that sound like a, a sixth grade band concert. If anybody, all my band nerds out there, <clears throat> if you've ever heard them tapes back of your first concert in middle school, that's what y'all <laughs> sounded like. That's that's what y'all sounded like. And having the imagery of him hunching on top of that lady. And her sitting there with a straight face because I know she did not make a, a <clears throat> moan nor a groan. If you need a there. visual, if you need a visual, just watch the second season of Bridgerton. No, I'm sorry. See, I not Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Charlotte. What was the, the spinoff? Queen Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, watch the first yeah, season yeah. of Queen Charlotte. Um, one of the characters, she's married to a very old man, and they show their mm. sex scenes. If you need a visual, Ew. just watch those sex scenes. Because the way she lays there- With an ass, I, there's multiple? Yes. Ugh. The way she lays this there- This is not ageism. I'm just saying. Don't know what I mean. This, 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 I'm pretty sure this is how the girl was, was- uh, reacting. Um, I actually, you know, just any, you know, idea of what women went through back back then, having to be forced to be married. Mean, this is probably all looked like. Mm, <clears throat> mm, but yes, can you I imagine? Hope- like, I would be sick to my stomach every time that motherfucker went over to press the power button <laughs> on the speaker. I would be. And can you imagine? Oh, but like even even without it. That like he's li- he, it's in his head <clears throat> because he even after she said she didn't like it he wasn't playing the song but he was still doing it the rhythm because that's what he was thinking I about so she was you. never gonna get away from it like it don't sound like that don't sound like a good situation it don't sound like there is anything fun going on over there like she was <laughs> she was a very giving partner you hear about giving partners she was a very giving partner and i'm gonna let y'all read between the lines on that one because mm -mm, this do not sound like it was in her favor at all god lady whoever you are god bless you and godspeed in your next relationship don't let nobody play in your coochie like this ever again Mm -hmm. no Mm -hmm. speak up for what you like and what you don't like i mean have conversations with your partners because he's right <clears throat> if you do, if you need a tune, if you need some ambience, some music to mm-hmm. help with the mood, maybe let your partner in on it first to see if it also yeah. helps with their mood. Yeah. But you know That's I, just my I, opinion. I don't know. Everybody's different. But you different. do you. You do Yeah, you. everybody's different, you know, because I'm uh, something about music is a little element. You know what? No, that's not always true. That's not always true, actually. Sometimes, you know, but don't, <clears throat> don't, don't make it a thing that the music is there. Just let the music be there. And then after all, you just realize like, oh shit, this music. Okay. Like this, we, we got a rhythm going with the music. I didn't even realize the music was on. Don't let it be a thing. Like you walking over to the speaker, turning that bitch on. You got to link your phone. It's taking like 10 seconds. You got to scroll through to find your play, your nut playlist. <laughs> And I, be, this because the song is only two oh minutes and 50, well, he has other songs. So maybe he starts with a different song and mm. then like ends with this song. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> I see what <laughs> <laughs> I All right, see y'all. What you did there. Yeah. I think this yes. has probably been one of my favorite episodes. Let me tell y'all something. I didn't had too much motherfuck. Let me stop cussing. I didn't had too much damn fun. I had to downgrade the curse word. Um, <laughs> on today's episode, Crystal, thank you for that because that wow, wow, you Absolutely. you know me. 
You <laughs> know me. You better know me. You better know, I know me. You. Mm-hmm. I know you. Oh, so thank y'all so much <clears throat> for being on this journey of discovery, finding you and finding me. Shout out to one on one. Is that one on one? I can't remember. Y'all know what show that is that what used to be on UPN. Um, <laughs> we had so much fun. We hope y'all had fun with us. Please. Leave all your questions, comments, and concerns in the question in the comment section of whatever platform that you are on because we want to hear what the hell y'all got to say about that song. It tell Matter of fact, me send us send us your reaction video to Exactly. This. I would love yes. to see some of y'all reacting to oh, listening to this. My God. Because if you if you experience what I experience. Even if you've heard it for the first time, let me see the tears that are rolling down your face as you're crying, laughing after you've heard it. <laughs> I would love to see it. You can catch us on all of our social media platforms. That includes YouTube. If you want to see <laughs> how I first reacted to hearing that song, go on the YouTube and search T and Crystal Podcast. You will see all of our videos there. Catch us on the TikTok. We're going to be doing some stuff over there. We're going to have all the snippets, fun things. You can interact with us. Go on the Facebook. Leave me all the comments there. I want to see what y'all got to say. I want to see how y'all reacted. Um, And also find us on Instagram. Pay attention to the Instagram. I've been saying this on all episodes. We may do some anonymous Q&As there where you can leave questions for us that we can answer on the episodes. And they can be anonymous and we don't have to out you like this man out of himself. Y'all see, I've been telling y'all over these episodes, keep that shit anonymous because you will get out it and I don't run to ruin your life. So in that same vein, you can also send us anonymous messages to our email. That is T and crystal at gmail.com. T E A A N D C R Y S T A L at gmail.com. Again, don't email me from, you know, Karen uh, Karen McCracken at gmail.com because, Karen, I'm going to say your name on the podcast if I see it. So make sure you email me from something like bubbles306 at yahoo.com. I don't know who you are, Bubbles. I'm going to call you Bubbles. Don't sign your name on the letters either if you're telling us your business. If you have something nice to say, of course, sign your name. You know, if you want to. You want to give us a few kind words, we'll also be able to, uh, to share that on the show. You know, we always want to big ourselves up, pat ourselves on the back. <clears throat> Crystal, do you have anything else to give to the people before we get the hell up? Yes, off of here? I have two things. First of all, I want to give a special shout out. <clears throat> if you guys are in the Massachusetts area, please yes. check out the Stone Collector. I don't know how the people do this. I don't. I don't know. Anyways, the Stone Collector. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, it is a crystal spiritual shop, meditation, and Reiki. And they just recently opened up a yoga shop, either right next door or right above it. I'm not sure. Um, and they sell cool little things like this water bottle with a crystal in it. Uh, it is my cousin's mm-hmm. store. I absolutely mm-hmm. love and adore her. She is absolutely amazing. I wish her nothing but the best of success. Mm-hmm. She is eventually going to be doing an online store. So for those who are not in Massachusetts, as soon as I get that info, <laughs> I will give it to you guys so you can guys can go online and buy from her. But in the meantime, if you're in Massachusetts, specifically near Northboro, that's where she's located. It's called the Stone you, Collector. Yeah, better get there before I do on that online shop because mm-hmm. I'm buying her out. As soon as she yes. put it online... You had to contend with me. Yes. I Her won. name is Vicky. She is hey, Vicky. absolutely amazing. And I love her to death. Please mm-hmm. go in there. Let her know I sent you. And just show her some love. That's and nice. then my last and final shout out goes to um, Hudson Mohawk, who created Seabat. Hey. Because Stop. without you, Stop, some, no. someone would have been really lost for two years. Hudson Mohawk. Like y'all should have known you was you was doomed for failure from the <laughs> outset. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not hunching to nothing by <laughs> Marilyn Manson Mohawk. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. Bat Machine, Batmobile, what's the name of the song? Batwing? Hell no. See, I don't even know what a C Bat is. Destined for failure. I don't know. 
But thank you guys and yes, bye. Thank y'all. Bye.